Good evening. I'm still reporting from Washington. A friend of mine who runs the SGT report put up Vladimir Putin's Christmas message a few weeks ago. However, I had not seen it until this morning. It is a stunner, especially in this era of a possible alliance between century-long enemies, Russia and the United States. He has graciously given me permission to put this important message up on my channel. Putin also seems to divide the world up into the nationalists and the globalists, with the Islamist militants doing the future bidding of the globalists. Question. Who, beside Donald Trump, is more loathed and maligned by the mainstream mockingbird media? The answer, of course, is Vladimir Putin. And the last thing the Clinton, Soros, New World Order Mafia wants is closer ties between Russia and the United States. In fact, those that would rabble rouse and beat the drums of war would like nothing more than conflict between the United States and Russia. What if I were to tell you that the same mockingbird mainstream media that has covered up the global child pedophilia rings, including the Pizzagate story, is also refusing to report about Vladimir Putin's knowledge of the elite's penchant for pedophilia. In his 2016 Christmas speech, Vladimir Putin dropped some bombshells on the New World Order that were completely ignored by the mainstream U.S. press. And in his Christmas speech, we see some startling similarities between Putin and Trump, both of whom seem to recognize the fact that the New World Order powers are aligned against sovereign states, aligned against Christianity, aligned against traditional morals, and aligned against the family. In his incredibly important speech, Putin says, we see that many Euro-Atlantic states have taken the way where they deny or reject their own roots, including their Christian roots, which form the basis of Western civilization. In these countries, the moral basis and any traditional identity are being denied. National, religious, cultural, and even gender identities are being denied or relativized. There, politics treats a family with many children as equal to a homosexual partnership. Faith in God is equal to faith in Satan. And guys, here's the Pizzagate DC Pedering bombshell that Putin dropped. And I quote, the excesses and exaggeration of political correctness in these countries indeed leads to serious consideration for the legitimization of parties that promote the propaganda of pedophilia. Putin clearly knows about the elite's penchant for pedophilia, and Tom DeLay himself has warned the American people. Well, we've already found a, a secret memo uh, coming out of the Justice Department. They, they, they're now going to go after... 12 new perversions, things like bestiality, uh, polygamy, uh, uh, having sex with little boys and making that legal. Putin continues, the people in many European states are actually ashamed of their religious affiliations and are indeed frightened to speak about them. Guys, as a side note, for those who've never read the Protocols of the Elders of Zion, which is claimed to be nothing more than a hoax or a forgery, I'd encourage you to read those protocols and then consider the war that is being waged that Putin is describing in this speech, and then ask yourself, is something behind the scenes driving this agenda? And do Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin stand in some opposition to it? Putin says Christian holidays and celebrations are abolished or neutrally renamed, as if one were ashamed of those Christian holidays. With this method, one hides away the deeper moral value of these celebrations. And of course, he's referring to the birth of Jesus Christ and the rebirth of the human race through the blood of Jesus Christ. Putin says, and these countries try to force this model onto other countries globally. I am deeply convinced that this is a direct way to the degradation and primitivization of culture. This leads to deeper demographic and moral crisis in the West. What can be a better evidence for the moral crisis of a human society than the loss of its reproductive function? And today, nearly all developed Western countries cannot survive reproductively, not even with the help of migrants. Without the moral values that are rooted in Christianity 
and other world religions, without rules and moral values which have formed and been developed over millennia, people will inevitably lose their human dignity. We can see the degradation of family in our own society tearing us apart. Putin stands in opposition to that degradation. And yet the mainstream mockingbird media would label this man an enemy of humanity and an enemy of the United States. Putin continues, and we think it is right and natural to defend and preserve these moral values. One has to respect the right of every minority to self-determination, but at the same time there cannot and must not be any doubt about the rights of the majority. And here's where Putin starts to sound a lot like some of the things Donald Trump said when he was running for president. Quote, at the same time as this process at a national level, we observe on an international level the attempts to create a unipolar, unified model of the world, to relativize and remove institutions of international right and national sovereignty. Trump himself has said the number one way to preserve peace and prosperity is through the sovereign state. We will no longer surrender this country or its people to the false song of globalism. The nation state remains the true foundation for happiness and harmony. I am skeptical of international unions that tie us up and bring America down. And under my administration, we will never enter America into any agreement that reduces our ability to control our own affairs. And the sovereign state stands in stark opposition to the Rockefeller, Rothschild, Soros desire for a new world order, one world government. Putin says, in such a unipolar, unified world, there is no place for sovereign states. Such a world would need merely vassals. And when he refers to vassals, think of the way the EU is set up. Thank goodness it's falling apart. But the EU has unelected bureaucrats in Brussels that supersede democracy, that supersede the will of the people, and that in turn only enforce the tyranny of the banking elite which controls the EU. And in this clip, Putin concludes, from a historical perspective, such a unipolar world would mean the surrender of one's own identity and of God-created diversity. Guys, when he says the surrender of one's own identity, it is exactly what the New World Order wants. It wants to cloud the lines between men and women, between right and wrong. It wants willing subjects that will bow down before the technological beast system of one world government, of one world currency, of the will of the banking elite, the satanic banking elite, as exemplified by Pizzagate, by Pedogate, by Jimmy Savile, and those that would cover up the crimes against children. The most important part of this speech, and I'll allow Putin to say it in his own words. Политкорректности доходит до того, что всерьез говорится о регистрации партий, ставящих своей целью пропаганду педофилии. Thanks for watching, and for real news 24/7, visit us at sgtreport.com. I'm still reporting from Washington. Good day.